Okay, here we are. It's um, November 18th, and we are now into Chapter 4, which was a major chapter in this course, probably the biggest one, my favorite, uh, concerning vector spaces. and subspaces and this is where we said oh, okay not every vector space is actually rn it can be other things so everything applies it's just a little different okay so question one um, we're gonna let we're gonna let h be set of ordered pairs xy such that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. This is the closed unit circle. All, right, all the points inside the unit circle, including the boundary. Okay, And the question is, prove or disprove h is a subspace of R2. So decide if it is or it isn't, and um, and go ahead and prove that. Okay. That's question one. Question two, one of my favorites. So we're going to let H and K be subspaces oops, of a vector space V. All right, so what we do is we define we define the intersection of H and K as vectors that are in H and in K. So they're in the intersection of the two. So if you think of a Venn diagram, here's H and here's K and H intersect K is this whole thing here. <clears throat> the, the vectors that are common to both. And so this is a cl classic problem in mathematics. You want to show that H intersect K is a subspace of V. All right, and I'll, I'll do part of this. Um, I'm going to do less and less as this goes on because I want to see what you guys pr produce when we chat. So, uh, part one of showing that something is a subspace is to show we want to show that the zero vector is in H intersect K. Right? That's step one. Then you have to show um, the sum of two vectors is in H intersect K, and that uh, it's closed under scalar multiplication. So I'm going to do part one show. So here's how this goes. Since H is a subspace of V, the zero vector is in H, because that's by definition. All right. We already know H is a subspace by hypothesis. So the zero vector must be an H, okay? And since K is a subspace of V, zeros in K. Well, zero is in H and zero is in K, so this implies that the zero vector is in H intersect K. Check. Now you do part two, so you let um, v1 and v2 be elements of h intersect k and show that um, v1 plus v2 is in h intersect k, and then part three is let c be some real number and show that c v1 is an element of h intersect k when v1 is an element of h in a second. Okay. So, great problem. Question three. 
we're going to let A be a matrix. 1, minus 3, 2, minus 5, 9, 1. Right? This is what? 2 by 3. Okay. Now, hopefully, when you do this problem, either for me or before you see me in a few minutes, you do this with nothing in front of you. A blank piece of paper, no internet, no friends. Just hammer this thing out. And if you get all of this, you're well on your way to, you know, killing this final exam and definitely learning something from the course, or proving to me that you've learned something. So, lots of questions here. One, Find the null space of A and the column space of A and the rank of A and the nullity of A. Okay? And when I say find the null space and the column space of A, I want you to find bases or basis, bases, bases for both of them. Okay. Also, You're going to find you're going to define a linear transformation to R something to R something. That's part of the problem, figuring out what those numbers are. Such that T sub X in R something um, equals AX. Right? So we're defining this linear transformation to be, you know, like we said before, all of them become this matrix multiplication by AX and we're going from R whatever to R whatever and you need to figure those two numbers out. Okay. So furthermore you want to find the kernel of T and the range of T and you know have a closed form for all of these. Question four. What is the rank theorem? This is a big one. And I harped about it for quite a while. Okay. Um, and it relates everything that's going on up, up here. So, All right. That's a lot of work. I know it's only... A brief video but um I know I said before I was gonna solve all these but um, that's just not right I want you guys to solve them and prove to me that you know what the hell you're doing so um, I'll see you in a few minutes and I'm gonna push you all pretty hard on these next this this these rounds of videos because you know I want these I want these oral exams to be fun for me but um, fruitful, I guess is the word. And hopefully in the next few weeks, you tie all these things together via these videos and your thinking. And we end the semester on a good note. All right, see you in a bit.